Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is I got my trusty old Hubson H501S model. And we are in Pleasant Ridge Park. I believe it's Gerard, Pennsylvania. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it is a great place to fly. This is where I come to fly if I want to do long distance flying. It's a nice big field here. Um, also, we are relatively close to Lake Erie off in the distance there. I think it's only about five, five miles that way. And hopefully if I send it up high enough, we will be able to see Lake Erie. So we're going to go for a flight of the Hubson H501S here and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Let's go to it. First thing I need to do is, I believe for this, I turn on the transmitter first. And <laughs> I plug in. I might have gotten it wrong, folks. It's been a while since I flew this one here. But plug in the battery. I got plenty of charge on my battery here for a flight. We're going to put it right here. And we have bind. And the first thing I know I need to do is after the gyros calibrate themselves here, is I got to do a compass cal. So let's do that. First holding it out like so, turning around clockwise, and then like this. Oh no, it's still saying calibrate compass one, so hold on folks. Okay, now we got the green light and we can do compass cal two. Still turning. Okay, now it's satisfied with the compass. Now the next thing we do is put, put it down and wait a second here because I'm still dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're waiting for the GPS lock. Okay, we don't have any GPS on either the receiver or, okay, we got some four on the quadcopter, but none on the receiver yet. But I'm not doing return, uh, follow me today. At least I'm not thinking of doing follow me, but we'll find out here shortly. I'm waiting for the quadcopter to have enough to take off, and it has enough to take off now. I have six satellites, nine satellites. We should be good to go. So, um, also I want to turn on the camera, video camera on, starting the quadcopter, setting it up, and let's check out that GPS position hold. We got a little bit of toilet bowl here folks, so what I am going to do is land it. We're going to do that calibration all over again. And a way to start a compass cow, if I remember correctly, is to hold this down and wiggle it. And there we go. We're set for a calibrate compass one. This time we're going to do it one more time. And I'm going to do it slowly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn clockwise this time. Until we see it change to green. And we're going to place it down, point it down like that. Obviously, it did not like my compass calibration I did before. So we should be good to go again. <laughs> and I'm dizzy again. <laughs> and we have 11 satellites on this and 12 on the quadcopter. We should be really good to go this time. Okay. Record. I want to make sure I'm recording video. Okay, we are recording video now. Starting the quadcopter again. Taken to the air. I don't want to see no toilet bowl like that again. Let us sit for a second here. And I have 7.8 volts on this. Okay, it looks good now. Let's take it uh, out into the field here. And we'll climb a bit. First thing I want to do is see Lake Erie. Right in the middle of the field. And pointing toward Lake Erie and climbing. And we are 31 meters. Climbing. Oh no we're not. We're 58 meters right now. We'll take it all the way up to 100 meters. Eighty. 
90, 100 meters. 100 meters up, folks. I hope you see Lake Erie. <laughs> it should be visible. We'll do a slow rotate while it's up there. Starting to rotate. Oops. Put it right there, and now I'll start to rotate. Slow rotate. I'm just giving a little bit of yaw to rotate around the area. Yeah, again, this is Girard, Pennsylvania, I believe is the name of this area. We're right next to Fairview, Pennsylvania. And hopefully, hopefully that Lake Erie is showing up in the video. Let's go north a bit. We'll stay up there at about 100 meters. There's a bean field to the north of us here, so there's no, no issue there flying over that. Unless it comes down, I'm, I'm not going to go looking for it because the farmer might take issue with me flying or crunching his beans. I believe it's soybeans. Where's that corn? I can't tell. <laughs> but again, we're flying toward Lake Erie. We should be off in the distance there. And yeah, reducing throttle and coming south now back toward my position. What's my voltage? 7.5 volts doing good there. Yeah, this is a great quadcopter. The 501S, folks. You know, I told you I'd take it on vacation with me, and I did. <laughs> I've also been having a lot of fun with the H502E. That also is a great quadcopter. You know, it doesn't have gyro stabilization for the the gimbal for the camera gimbal, but it's a nice, small, easy to carry quadcopter. Uh, not very noisy. Should be able to take it just about anywhere without being hassled. You know, with people having uh, not having issues with it, like you you will with larger uh, camera quadcopters, like DJI, for example. <laughs> There is a wind up there. It was, but my quadcopter seems to be fighting it very nicely, but I better bring it down low. Er, <laughs> reducing throttle. Coming down from up there at 100 meters. And now we'll do some low level once I get down closer to the ground. Again, over the bean field maybe, or, or whatever is being grown at in that field there. But again, reducing throttle, coming down. I always like to keep some forward motion on my quadcopters when I'm descending. And the reason being is that lowers the chance of uh, vortex ring, ring state oscillations. You generally get a little more steady your video, especially if you don't have a camera gimbal on there. And if you got a camera gimbal, actually, that might even aggravate the uh, vortex ring state even further. But again, coming down with forward motion on, always keeping forward motion. You can do corkscrews as you're doing the descent. That helps if you don't have a lot of uh, property <laughs> to fly over. Do a little corkscrew. Okay, we're getting down to more reasonable level. I will fly it out toward that road off in the distance there. Still descending. Fun little or quadcopter, the 501S, and again, the 502E also, I like that one. There's the 502S, which is similar to the 502E, but with um, Follow Me and uh, FPV like this one. But for just a little bit more, you can actually get the 501S, which is a much better quadcopter with, um, with brushless motors, with a 1080p camera. So I, I really don't understand the... Uh, the 501S, and I, I'm, I'm sure others agree with me on that one. Which the the, the 501S is a ni nice idea, but if they could sell it for quite a bit less than the 502S, then yeah, it would be a seller. Okay, 
Let's bring it in here for a second here. Now what I want to do now is, yeah, let's try to follow me to demonstrate that. Hi, welcome to Gerard. <laughs> Hitting follow me, which was follow me, that one there. Come on with me. Actually, let's send it out in front of me. Pull it back to right about there. And hit follow me. So, we'll take a walk across this field. Um, again, I fly here. Well, are you following me? <laughs> Pretty sure you had set follow me. It's doing weird toilet bowl gyrations here in follow me. Coming out of follow me. Boy, that's weird. What was that about? Let's try that again. Going back to follow me. That's telling me that this one might be out of sync because those this is using inputs from this uh, controller to tell the quadcopter where the controller is and if it was doing those weird gyrations I'm thinking that maybe this controllers GPS <laughs> might not be very accurate but it seems to be very stable now as you can see here there's a little bit of a twerk there but let's walk over toward it seems to be holding well I can see myself in the picture but yeah, that was weird, huh? How many volts do we got on this thing? 7.3 volts, we're still good. And I'm just walking around Gerard Field demonstrating follow me. Okay, we got enough power for one more flight up high. Let's turn off follow me. The wind's picking up a bit here. And we'll do a quick climb and then a descent and call it quits. Going back up to about 100 meters. How high am I? 42 meters. Going up higher. 48, 53, 56, 60, 65, 68, 70, 77, 80. And 100, or 95, 98, 99, 100. Okay, I can see off in the distance there. I think I see Lake Erie off in the distance. Looking around. Around the town of Girard. I'm using my, I got FPV video on this and I can see off in this distance there. But I'm not sure that I see Lake Erie, <laughs> unfortunately. It appears to be in a haze today. So, oh well. Coming back down, we'll call it quits for the day with the Hubson H501S way up there, 100 meters up. I like how this thing climbs rapidly. Doing a slow corkscrew turn while descending from 100 meters, still turning, still turning slowly, slowly, coming back toward myself now and maintaining the descent maintaining glide slope <laughs> you just look at it if it's motionless in the sky you're more or less on glide slope a dot that's getting bigger and bigger and bigger on glide slope <laughs> on descent <laughs> okay hey while we're over here time do I got left? 7.1 volts. Let's do a return to home. Okay, GPS. GPS is on. Return to home. On. Let's see it go home by itself. Where it took off from. There's my dad over at the Chevy. There it goes on its way home. Let's see it land itself. should be landed by the time I get there. <laughs> Pretty darn cool. See, I'm not doing anything, folks. I just I just flipped this one switch here and it returns itself and lands itself and that is that. Am I in the video as I'm coming toward it? I know. <laughs> Great quadcopter, huh? 
the 501S. I'm turning off that video. And there it is. So, that's a flight of the 501S at, in Girard, Pennsylvania. Turning off the motors. There we go. And, interesting flight. I like this quadcopter. I like this and the 502E, as I said. <laughs> quadcopter. <laughs> Let's not get my belly there. Quadcopter 101. Sorry,